हेलो एवरी वेलकम बैक वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो ऑफ माई चैनल आई एम किशोर आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल सो फ्रॉम द थमनल यू गेट टू नो अबाउट द टॉपिक ऑफ टूडेज वीडियो सो इन टूडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर माई एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ पब्लिशिंग माई फर्स्ट पेपर एंड दैट हैपेंड इन आई एस सी सो इट वॉज अ पार्ट ऑफ माई एम टेक थीसिस सो आई वॉज वर्किंग विथ माई गाइड देयर सो आई हैव इन माई लास्ट वीडियो रिगार्डिंग आई आई एस सी आई हैव शेयर दैट हाउ आई I had selected my guide, so how my guide was decided, how I was interested in some other domain, but finally I came into this data science machine learning domain. So if you haven't watched that video yet, uh, you can go and check it out. Uh, so the link I'll be giving the description, or maybe it will come in the i button. You can go and check it out. Now coming back to today's video, so many of you asked me that how was my experience of publishing paper and how is the overall procedure. that you all want to know so that you also get to know about that you know how typically research has been done in institutions like iisc and iits so in this video i am going to share my experience of publishing my first paper so it's it was a uh, you know almost a year long uh, procedure so in the final year i started working with my guide and finally at the end of my mtech curriculum i was able to publish my paper so the whole procedure the whole experience i am going to share in this particular video so please do watch the video till end and before starting the video as i always say if you are new to this particular channel please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly now with a further ado let's get started with today's video yeah so my guide was selected in the beginning of the second semester and i started working with him at the end of the second semester that means uh, during the summer gap uh, that is typically may 2019 till june 2019 so this is the period from may to june uh, there is to be summer uh, summer break uh, in in iisc and that time most of the student used to you know go for the internship but as you all know that i didn't appear for the internship and my goal was to work with my guide uh, so that you know i can get a paper out of my mtech project because i was uh, you know inclined towards research and phd so i started working with my guide um, uh, like around this april end or may start so initially i was i was working directly with my guide so my guide gave me few of the papers uh, to read Uh, so the first part of the research is that you have to do a lot of literature survey that means that whatever problem statement you are interested in you have to do a lot of you know you have to read a lot of paper regarding that problem domain and find find out that how much work has been already done in that direction or in that problem problem statement what are the flaws of that uh, those methods that has been proposed by those different papers and then you have to come out with a with a with a, with a you know novel idea to solve that particular problem in a efficient way which those previous paper didn't attempt so that was the kind of fundamental thing that or fundamental purpose of doing a literature survey so my guide has given me a lot of papers and i started reading those papers so it took me around one month to you know read all those things because i started working in this social network or graph uh, domain where we are applying machine learning but i didn't have much idea about all of these things that time because i have just completed my few courses on machine learning but you know i didn't have that much expertise or that much experience of reading research papers and lot of things so it, initially it was taking me a lot of time to read the you know one paper so typically the paper length for data science domain is like 12 to 13 page but you know it was taking me like around one day or two day to read a paper completely and then also after reading the paper it's not that i was understanding everything i was maybe 30% or 40% of the paper i was understanding so this is how it all started so this may and uh, like may may june this two months i was only reading the paper i was not doing anything uh, i was meeting with my guide i was telling him that i am thinking like this direction maybe I, we can go that direction maybe i can go it's kind of a hit and trial i was trying and my guide was giving me some input i was trying to understand them first of all because that was not so easy to understand what my guide is saying because as i say that that was a very early phase of my research uh, career or research life and i didn't have much idea about the whole field then this is how it was going and then my guide uh, you know introduced me, introduced to me with with one of the seniors in my lab uh he was working in uh, in one of the companies and he was also doing phd in our lab so my guy told me that you start collaborating with that phd student and you know then try to find out something uh new or something novel to solve a problem then i started you know interacting with with that that uh, senior and uh, yeah then that senior he he gave me a problem statement 
uh, that is kind of a problem statement and how to solve that problem statement that he gave me so it was around like august end uh, in 2019 when i finally got my problem statement and how to solve that problem statement so it was kind of uh, almost like everything was defined i mean in this particular problem statement there was nothing to explore uh, that senior um, <laughs> the senior uh, whom with whom i am i am working so he kind of told me that what 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 the things that i need to do and i just have to code it uh, properly so that i get the uh, experiments and the and the results so i started you know writing the code and again here also one of the challenges was there that you know i have to you know kind of uh, do coding in some of the frameworks so in machine learning there are python is the very basic um, programming language that you have to you have to be very kind of expert or i mean i mean you have to be very good but you know there are some other frameworks also there like pytorch and tensorflow these are kind of frameworks where you have to write your models so that you know it, these are very optimized way of writing coding so that your your code will will not take much time will not take much uh, space so these are uh, time and space optimized code you can say so i have to learn them also so when i started writing the code so i felt that i am not much comfortable in these two frameworks so i started you know reading uh, reading and learning about those two frameworks so uh, to to write the code it took me around one month and one and a half month to write the code and do all the experiments so initially i was not getting the proper result there are some issues was there but yeah eventually i i found it out and i i, I fixed those issues and around like october mid our placement session started so there is a gap for two months uh, two weeks uh, from this project because i have to go to the placement i have to prepare for that so i took a break of two weeks uh, from the project and i appear for the for the for the placement interview and then once my placement was done i came back and starting doing the experience again experiments again so yeah i mean in iisc uh, in the third semester middle of the third semester like around uh, november uh, like october end or november first week we used to have our mid mid term evaluation of the project by then i have the results ready and i have presented my result in the mid term evaluation and at the end of uh, november we submitted a paper from those those results so we submitted a paper in a in a uh, top tier conference uh, uh, of computer science and we have written the model was very simple which we are working that time when when the model was not that great or not that novel but yeah results was promising so we thought let's publish this paper to the conference and see uh, how how things go so this is one of the things in research that you you come up come up uh, with a with a model and you do all the experiments and experiment means that you have to beat all the baselines that means all the previous models that has been already proposed you have to beat their result and then only your model is better so our model was doing good compared to the all previous models so that's why we thought let's uh, publish this paper and we submitted this paper to the conference yeah so in november end we uh, submitted the paper and typically this conferences they used to take uh, two to three months uh, to you know evaluate your paper so there will be few reviewers like two to three reviewers who will review your paper and give their final comments that how they are feeling about this particular paper and they will give a final verdict like whether it should be accepted or not so our paper the uh, you know after two months like around january end the result came and our paper got rejected and this is i think kind of the proper start of my research career where you know you will publish the paper you will you will submit the paper in conferences and most of the time you know your paper will be rejected because there are a lot of competition and a lot of people are submitting the paper and typically in this in this conferences the acceptance rate rate it 20 percent so like around you know if you if you submit 100 papers 20 will be accepted and 80 will be rejected so yeah our paper got rejected and we we got we receive all the you know comments from different reviewers and then we started analyzing our model so this is the this is a very crucial step that when your paper got rejected from a conference to so whatever the comments or whatever the reviews you got from the reviewers you have to rectify them and there are a lot of lot of you know issues was there many were saying it's a very simple model there was much not much novelty you have just done few changes and you are getting better result that doesn't mean that your model is really good because you have to come out with a solid model and i mean a bit complicated model if it is then it's a better chance of getting accepted so then we again started working on the model and uh, me and that senior uh, we we started working on the model and we started changing the model uh, and we we are we are trying to address 
all the all the negative comments that the reviewers given to our 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 paper we are trying to you know address those uh, problems so that you know when you when you, when you submit in the next time we won't get any similar kind of comments so it did the changes and around like march 2020 actually that time pandemic already started uh, we all came back home and that time you know we did the all the changes and we start, we submit it again in a in a, another conference uh, in april 2020 and then again you know after two months or two and a half months we got the rejection from from that conference also and again this time also people are you know coming up uh, with with lot of negative comments that these these things you have to change and this is a very normal procedure if you want to uh, pursue your research or phd like you know you will submit the paper in some conference then most of the time the paper will be rejected and you, if you are if you are very lucky or if you have done a really good thing like if you have really done something extraordinary then only you have a pretty good chance of uh, you know getting a paper accepted but most of the time what i have seen or what, what i have done in my research life so far that i have taken a model i have did some changes and try to you know bit the baseline so this is so far the process i have followed so far uh, so then there is a kind of 50 50 chance that it can be accepted also it can be rejected also so yeah that was that was the thing and then again our our paper got rejected from that uh, conference and it was like may 2020 or june 2020 i got uh, we got that 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 review from that conference then again we start working uh, for that particular paper and then again we start changing here and there whatever the comments was coming we are we are trying to change that thing and we are preparing for our next submission by then my final final evaluation for mtech uh, that was there i have presented my this work uh, there Uh, in iisc and uh, that got uh, you know a lot of appreciation and i got highest grade uh, for for my mtech thesis <laughs> but a paper was not accepted till till then so then what we did is after completing my masters we submitted that paper in uh, around august 2020 like my mtech was finished in july 2020 and then we again published the i submit the paper in another conference uh, it was like end of august 2020 and this time we have done a lot of changes i mean both the part i mean we have changed done, done the changes in the model and also in the experiment part so the results also you know we have we have done a, a slight improve, improvement than the previous one so yeah this is how we submit it for the third time uh, hoping that we will be lucky uh, third time and this time was lucky we were lucky and around like september uh, no sorry october 2020 uh, the result came and we got uh, you know we got our paper accepted in that in that particular particular conference so yeah i mean this is how the whole story you know ended i started working in this project in around may or you can say june 20 2019 and the paper finally got accepted in october 2020 so it's more than one year i took to finally you know accept and this paper to get get accepted in a conference and even after acceptance also there are a lot of work you have to do like you have to clear the final version you have to you know go to the conference present it so that that senior uh, guy he was he was doing it so my my contribution or my responsibility ends after you know like publishing the paper but uh, because i was the second author of the paper that senior guy was the first author so he take uh, took care of the rest of the things like presenting that paper and like um, you know clearing the version uploading it to the conference side and lot of things are there he is taking so yeah this is how the whole story so if you are someone who is really you know interested of doing research or phd at least from iisc's and iits this is how the whole story i mean you have to do a lot of literature survey initially then you have to come up with a come up with a model uh, come up with a idea or novel idea that how you will be solving this particular problem and how you will be addressing the issues which was not addressed by the previous model and then you have to do the experiment the third step is you have to do the experiment and your goal will, will be that you will be try you will be trying to beat all the baseline model that means all the previous model or previous work that has been done by other people and then you will be sub, you will submit this paper to any of the conferences and then it's a luck i mean i mean uh, then you will get the review if your paper got through through a particular conference okay if it is rejected then again you have to submit it to a next conference and this is how you have to try and whenever your paper will be rejected you will get the reviews and you have to change um, the model uh, whatever that you are doing and you have to make it better you know kind of iteratively 
yeah so that's it guys that's it about my whole experience of publishing a paper uh, in isc as, as a part of my mtech project and i hope by this experience i have given you a brief about the overall scenario how a paper uh, gets published in some conference or journal so yeah this is the process so if you are really interested about phd please keep these things in mind that it is a lengthy process to publish a paper it's not easy and uh, sometimes you got lucky and publish it in the first attempt only in the in the conference but most of the time the rejection rate is too high uh, that most of the time your paper paper will be rejected and it's not only that i am publishing it for india that's why it's getting rejected it's it's true for everywhere in the world because uh, the that's the threshold or the you know the th the, uh, the selection rate or acceptance rate is 20% across the world it's not specific to any geography or something so th throughout the world whoever is publishing the paper this is true for everyone so don't have this kind of misconception that because i am publishing it for india that's why it's getting rejected it's not the fact it's true for all over the world so that's it guys that's it about today's video i hope you like the video and if you are like the video if hit the like button and share this video to many other people so so that they also get to know about it and if you are new to this particular channel i used to make videos regarding isc isro iit iits uh, gate phd interviews and you know like job interviews i used to conduct many podcast and all so if you are if you are interested about these things so please do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you know whenever i upload any new video you will get the notification so that's it guys that's it about today's video i'll be meeting in the next video until then bye